Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in. Tally here. Today I'll be showing you how to get some more volume in that blow dry. Last time I showed you how to smooth out a blow dry. And with that video, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to create more bounce and more volume in the blow dry. So today I'll be showing you how to create that by using a smaller brush. Last time I used a large, but today I'm gonna use a medium sized brush. Paul Mitchell offers four sizes, which is an extra large, a large, a medium, and a small. I'm gonna switch out today between the medium and the large, depending on the area to create that volume and that bounce. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the Extra Body Root Boost. The good thing about this product is that the heat from the blow dryer is gonna activate this product and allow me to get that easy volume at the roots. I'm just gonna put it through the base area and keep in mind that a little goes a long way. Moving on, I'm gonna use Thicken Up. The good thing about Thicken Up is that it's gonna give me that memory in the holds without giving me that heavy product feel. I wanna make sure that I have an even application of the products throughout my hair, so I'm gonna use the 413 from Paul Mitchell to brush it through. I'm gonna clip away my hair. I wanna clip the top section away, and then I'm gonna do two side sections. And then from there, I'll get subsections. But let's start off with that bottom section. I wanna use the small round brush. And the reason I'm going in with a small round brush is because I wanna create a tight curl. I'm looking to create curls in my hair using a blow dryer so that I don't have to go in with a curling iron after. I want you to imagine that your brush is a roller with a handle. The size of a roller, just like the brush, will determine the size of your curls. You'll notice that once the hair is dry, I continue to curl the ends in the brush. This is polishing the ends, and this is gonna give me that long lasting curl. As I move towards the middle back section, I'll pull the hair straight up to create volume, which will support the top sections. Once the roots are dry, I'll bring the section around to the front so I can see the ends as I polish them, making sure that I'm locking in those curls. When I'm happy with how the bottom section looks, I wanna move to the side. But before I do that, I wanna move all my dry hair to the other side so that I don't get any of that damp hair on top of the dry section. Moving up, I continue to dry the roots first. On the sides, I only want a moderate volume. So rather than over directing straight up, I'm gonna pull the hair straight out and parallel to the floor. Once the roots and mid shaft are dry, I wanna concentrate on the ends. Again, polishing them in the brush even after the hair is dry. You'll notice that I use the brush vertically when I'm drying the sections around my face. This will help to direct the curls away from my face and will give the hairline a more seamless end result. I'm gonna dry the second side in the same fashion. These movements are repetitive, but it's gonna ensure a consistent style. At this point, you should start seeing the style take shape. To make sure the curl falls naturally and away from my face, I place the brush on top of the section and wrap the hair over and around the brush as if it were an unclipped iron. This motion is opposite of what I did on the previous side, but the curl direction is gonna stay the same. Now I'm gonna release the top section and start in the crown. This is where I want the most volume. So you can see that I'm pulling the section straight up and holding the brush at the base to enforce some memory and hold. Just as I did on the other sections, I'm gonna bring the section down and in front of me while I polish the ends. Blow drying the section to both sides will not only add volume, but also give the top a lot of movement. I want to avoid blow drying a part into my hair, but rather bring each section forward and backwards, which will allow the hair to fall on my natural part. Moving into the fringe area, I'm gonna start with the brush underneath the section to begin shaping the hair. Before the ends are completely dry, I'm gonna bring the brush back on top of the section to get the volume and movement at the base. I have longer layers framing my face rather than a full fringe, therefore I wanna blow dry the roots back and away from my face. Once I have the volume that I want, I'm gonna come back and polish the ends and finish the look. So 
So now that my hair is dried, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of hold me tight just to secure those waves and those curls in. Not too much because you don't want too much of a hard look, you just want it to be more fresh. Again, this is my extra body blowout. I used a little bit of the root lifter on my roots so I can get that volume that I'm looking for as well as a thicken up for my ends just to make sure that those curls stay all night long. And the main key again is the brush. Brush sizes always makes a big difference. My first blow dry, I did it with an extra large brush, which gave me more of a smoother look. This one, I went in more with a small brush, which gave me more of a curlier, wavy, more bouncy look, and I hope that you enjoy it. If you have any questions or any topics that you want me to take on, please connect with me on hashtag TallyTalks. Happy styling!